안녕하세요, and welcome to the KCCLA Virtual Language and Culture Series. My name is Sean Tavidian, and I'm one of the instructors here at the Korean Cultural Center in Los Angeles. This is episode 2, Korean Daily Etiquette, or 한국의 생활 예절 문화. It might be fair to say that many of the important aspects of Korean language and culture are expressed not just in what you say, but in what you do. In this video, we will highlight examples of Korean daily etiquette and the meanings behind them. Now let us take a look at some common situations in which hand gestures play an important role. For example, when handing cash or a bank card to someone when paying for goods and services, it is polite for the customer to hand over the money or bank card with both hands, especially when interacting with someone who is older or in a more senior position. However, in less formal situations, like at a convenience store or at a restaurant, it is alright to hand over the money or bank card by holding it in your right hand while holding your left hand under your right forearm or elbow. This same gesture may be used when handing over other objects to someone as well. Lastly, one should refrain from putting their hands in their pockets at any point during this interaction as it might be considered rude. As you can tell, specific ways you use your hands denote politeness and respect in Korean culture. Whether it's a co-worker's birthday, a national holiday such as Chuseok or Korean Thanksgiving, or just visiting a friend's house, in Korea, it's common to give gifts or seonmul on such occasions. Seonmul, gift. In both the US and Korea, gifts are a way to show your appreciation and respect for someone, and as such, Gifts are held with both hands, both when receiving and when offering a gift. If you are working in Korea or doing business with people from Korea in your own home country, it is good to keep in mind that exchanging business cards is done in a similar manner as gift giving. Always present your business card or myongham by holding it with both hands with the text facing the recipient. Myongham, business card. Myongham. If someone is handing you their business card, you should also always use both hands to receive it. It is considered polite to take a moment to look at the business card you just received, instead of just putting it away in your pocket or card holder. When meeting someone in a professional setting, just like in the US, it is common to shake hands. Handshake in Korean is aksu. Aksu, handshake. However, in Korea, it is also common to hold your left hand under your right forearm or elbow to show respect to the other party. The handshake is also accompanied by a slight bow. Next, we will see how cleanliness and respect go hand in hand in Korean culture. In Korea, when entering someone's home, it is customary to remove your shoes and leave them in a special area located by the front entrance or nearby hallway, as wearing shoes inside the house is very uncommon and considered impolite. Taking off your shoes before entering a home is a way to show respect for your host's space. Some households do use and offer slippers to their guests, but a lot of the time you might just end up in your socks. 신발을 벗다 To take off one's shoes. 신발을 벗다 You may also see this sign at a restaurant, in a gym locker room, or at a hotel room that reads 신발을 벗어주세요 which means Please take off your shoes. 신발을 벗어주세요. While wearing masks or face coverings in public has not been typically practiced in the US, this is common practice in South Korea. In the US, masks and face coverings have been used primarily within hospitals or at doctor's offices. However, in Korea, it is very common for people to wear them on a daily basis. In particular, if one is feeling under the weather or if it's flu season, many people will wear a mask when they're out and about, at work or school, and so on. Of course, this is not only to protect oneself from getting sick, but also shows concern for the well-being of those around you. The Korean word for mask is mask. Mask. Maskeul suda. To wear a mask. Maskeul suda. Maskeul suseyo. Please wear a mask. Maskeul suseyo. Finally, let's take a look at some celebratory customs in Korea related to special occasions and holidays. Many couples in Korea opt for a traditional Korean wedding ceremony, but Western-style white dress and tuxedo weddings have become very popular. If you've been invited to a Korean wedding, you might be surprised to find out that there is no wedding registry, unlike in the US. Instead, it is more common in Korea to give money as a wedding gift. 
When you arrive at the wedding venue, you will often see a table set up near the entrance where you can leave the gift money. Using crisp new bills is preferred, and the money should be placed in an envelope. The amount of money gifted depends on their guest's relationship with the bride and groom. Coworkers generally give a smaller amount, while close friends and family members generally give more. 결혼식 Wedding ceremony 결혼식 결혼 축하드립니다 Congratulations on your wedding. 결혼 축하드립니다 Next, when it comes to birthday customs in Korean culture, two important events are 백일, which marks the 100th day of a child's birth, and 돌, the first birthday of a child. 생일 Birthday 생일 Pegil is very important in Korean culture as traditionally it marked the safe passing of the most difficult period of a baby's life. To celebrate this occasion, a table is prepared with seaweed soup and white rice. During this celebration, the family prays for the baby's health, and the baby's parents also prepare and hand out steamed white rice cakes to extended family, friends, and neighbors, as it is believed that if they share a hundred rice cakes, their child will live a long and healthy life. Pegil literally 100 days, marking the 100th day after the birth of a child. Pegil. As mentioned, the other important birthday in Korean culture is the first birthday or dol. This celebration is similar to pegil, as a big table stacked high with fruits, rice cakes, and other foods is prepared for the guests. The highlight of the first birthday is the tolchabi, a custom where the child is put in front of a table with different objects, and the first thing the child grabs is supposed to foretell their future. For example, if a child reaches for ink, they will be very smart. If they reach for money, they will be very rich, and so on. Dol The first birthday Dol 생길 축하합니다 Happy birthday 생길 축하합니다 And the more formal expression 생신을 축하드립니다 Happy birthday, which is used for people who are in a more senior or higher position. 생신을 축하드립니다. Lastly, let's take a look at some housewarming customs in Korea. Housewarming in Korean is 집들이, 집들이. And while it may seem surprising to some, giving toilet paper and laundry detergent as housewarming gifts is quite common in Korea. This is because these presents carry special meanings. Just as toilet paper unrolls easily, it is hoped that any problems the recipient may come across in their life will be solved easily. Likewise, the expanding and multiplying bubbles of laundry detergent symbolize prosperity and wealth. Now let's review the words we have covered in this episode. 선물 선물 명함 명함 악수 악수 신발을 벗다 신발을 벗다 신발을 벗어 주세요 신발을 벗어 주세요 마스크 마스크 마스크를 쓰다 마스크를 쓰다 마스크를 쓰세요 마스크를 쓰세요 결혼식 결혼식 결혼 축하드립니다 결혼 축하드립니다 생길 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 축하합니다 생길 축하합니다 생신을 축하드립니다 생신을 축하드립니다 백일 백일 돌돌 집들이 집들이 To wrap up this episode on common customs in Korean daily etiquette, we leave you with the following proverb. 가는 말이 거야 Literally, if the going words are beautiful, then the coming words will be beautiful too. And similar to expressions like, what goes around comes around. 가는 말이 거야, 오는 말이 곱다. Thank you for joining us for this episode of KCCLA's Virtual Language and Culture Series. If you're in Los Angeles, we hope you'll have the opportunity to visit the Korean Cultural Center Los Angeles at 5505 Wilshire Boulevard in the Miracle Mile. Meanwhile, please visit us online at www.kccla.org and please follow us on social media.